Welcome to news update on Cleveland TV. Here are the headlines. Nigerian government orders the closure of borders. Algeria calls for March of 20 million to end border figures rule. At least 25 migrants die in Mexico accident. The details should be. Abdurrahman Dambazaw, the Minister of the Interior, has ordered the closure of border in Nigeria for the governorship and state house assembly election. The Comptroller General of the National Nigerian Immigration Service, Mohammed Babandidi, announced this in a statement issued in Abuja on Thursday. He said this was to restrict the movement of people during the election hour. The borders will close on March the 8th, on Friday, and will be reopened on March the 12th, on Sunday. Algeria's National Union of Lawyers Association yesterday called on the authorities to postpone the election and form a transitional government and called all lawyers to protest. Its leadership went on to call for a march of 20 million today to demand President Abdelaziz Bouteflika leave office and not stand in the next election. Algerians have been protesting against Bouteflika's decision to run for fifth term. The 82 year old suffered a stroke in 2013 and has rarely been seen in public since an account of his ailing health. He traveled to Switzerland for treatment this week. Some officials from the ruling National Liberation Front, FLN, joined the protesters while some public figures have resigned as a result of the controversy. Protesters praised the army, which remained in its barracks during the protest. However, analysts and former officials said that the army will probably intervene if the protest leads to widespread instability in the country, which is one of Africa's biggest oil producers. The president, who has been in office since 1999, insisted he would run for the 18th of April election, but will call for early elections within his party to find a successor after a national conference to discuss reform and a new constitution. Authorities in the southern Mexico state of Chiapas say at least 25 Central American migrants have died when the drug they were traveling in overcome. The Chairman's State Prosecutor Office said in a statement last on Thursday that 29 others were injured in the accident. It appears the driver lost control of the truck around 6 p.m. near a town of Francisco Terrazio. The injured were transported to hospital. Authorities did not provide the identities of the victims and say the investigation continues. Chiapas is the historic entry point for Central American migrants arriving in Mexico from Guatemala. The normal migratory flow has attracted additional attention with the arrival of several large migrants, caravans from Central Africa, America during the past year. That's all we have on news updates on Cleveland TV. For more videos, simply log on to our website on cleveland.com. I am Abdi Babarindi. Thanks for watching.